during the week, Kyle Busch had to apologize after he stole the headlines with two numbers, 128 in a 45. Well, it was uh, it was a car that uh, was on loan from me from Lexus, and um, you know it wasn't that it was a toy; it's a high-performance vehicle, and that uh, you know should be shouldn't be taken lightly, and uh, should be driven with caution. Obviously, I I didn't have caution, and I had a lack in judgment, and that um, you know there's probably a reason why in TV commercials and such they always show at the bottom. Um, professional driver closed course and mine was not that so um, again I apologize sincerely uh, to all those affected and um, that all I can do is try to make sure it doesn't happen again and that uh, I make sure that lack of judgment doesn't overcome me now the point was brought up several times this week by several different other drivers if it was not Kyle Busch it wouldn't be that big of a deal yeah, it's a big deal. I, you know, it, he showed a lack of judgment, and I think he said that right there. Junior said it best when Junior said, we've all done it. We just didn't get caught. All you people out there that are sitting on your couches, y'all have done it at some point in time, maybe not 128, but I don't think this is a, an issue that NASCAR needs to step into. This is an issue for the Highway Patrol, the Sheriff's Department, whoever it may be. We've had other drivers in the past get in trouble on the highway. Crap, the King spawned somebody out on Highway 85 one time. So when you look at it, we've had <laughs> other drivers do that. But I think what it is for NASCAR and for, for uh, Kyle Busch, it's a PR problem, and it needs to be addressed. The truth will prevail, and here's what it is. Kyle Busch is not a fan favorite. You, the fans, are always upset with him. It's your chance to pile drive him. You're pile driving him right now. You're getting him down. And I said, let him come up for air. <gasps> he can't breathe right now. Your fans got him down. What he did was wrong. But I do believe that if Travis Quapple would have done this, mute, and put the TV on mute, it's a big story because it's your chance to pile drive the guy that you don't like. 